Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal Easy Education. In this session, we are going to learn Chapter 8, Strings and String Manipulation. Content of the session is String Creation, Modification and Deletion. What is a string? String is a data type in Python. Data type means it represents the type of the data which is going to be used in a program. As you know, in Python, we are not declaring the data type as in C++. Only in C++ programming, we have to declare it as int, float, care. But here, there is no need. String, the content or the concept of string is both same in C++ and Python. C++ also, string is a collection of characters. In Python also, string is said to be collection of characters. Here, the character means it can be a letter or a number or a special symbol. So, it can be alphanumeric and also can contain a, contains a symbol. So, string is a sequence of Unicode characters that may be a combination of letters, numbers or special symbols enclosed within single double or even triple quotes. Here the examples are given. Welcome to learning Python is within single code. Here it is within double code. Here there is a double code and within triple code. I'll explain what is the difference between the three things. But all the things are allowed in Python. Let's see with an example. See this example, print, welcome to Python learning within single quotes. If we run the program, the output is display. Okay. Same single quotes is going to be used in another statement. Think like, welcome to students learning. Can you see the difference in the color? Students, here there is a apostrophe. So, here there is a apostrophe near W. Here it is the starting place. Here it is the ending space. It is treating like this. But for us, welcome to students learning is a single statement and we want to have the statement within single quotes. But this is not possible in Python. Is it say in the error? So, then how to print a statement like this? So, to print a statement with single quotes or apostrophe within that, it should be enclosed within double quotes. So, you understand the point? Here, the, in the statement, no apostrophes are used. So, it can be within single quotes. Here, within the statement, there is a single use of apostrophe. So, it is enclosed within double quotes. Fine, the output is displayed. For example, if I need to display with the, uh, the display the statement as with welcome to students learning double quotes. I want the double quotes to be printed in the output means I cannot enclose this statement within a double quote. Then it will say error. So, if a statement is having single code, So, able to follow this single quotes, again double quotes because there is a single apostrophe within the statement. Here, we want the statement to be from double quotes to this double quote. So, it is enclosed within 
triple quotes. Can you see it? Welcome to Python learning. Welcome to students learning. Welcome to students learning is within double quotes. So you have to decide as a programmer which code you need for your program. Is it clear children? So this is said to be string and the use of single, double and triple quotes in Python. Now, in Python, strings are immutable. It means once you define a string, it cannot be changed during execution. They are saying that it remains to be constant. That means uh, constant in the sense the statement or the line cannot be changed. How to access the characters in a string? When you define a string, Python allocate an index value for its each character like our array. These index values are otherwise called as subscript which are used to access and manipulate the strings. Subscript can be positive or negative integer numbers. You note down this because positive or negative integer subscript is only in Python not in C++. So, you imagine that if there is a string like welcome, this word is stored in the memory with the index of 0 to 6. If it is a negative index means it should start with the last letter with the number of minus 1. It is not starting with 0. Only positive index is starting with 0 that is from the first character. If it is a negative subscript, Minus 1 should be placed in the last character and it will increase in this order. This is the procedure. We will see the example in Python. See this example string 1 equal to input enter a string. We are getting a string from the user. Index equal to 0. We are assigning 0 to a variable index for i in str1. So the for loop is from i to str1. Subscript within double quotes, comma, index is the variable, comma, then double quotes, arrow, uh, that square bracket, colon, double quotes, comma, i. So, we will check what is the output. They are giving a word like welcome. See here. So first one, subscript. So subscript of 0 because the index value is 0. Then i. i means it's, it's fetching the value from the uh, string str1, first character. So it is w. Again, index plus equal to 1. So the variable index is incre incremented to 1 one value is increased. So, 0 is turned to 1. Again, it will check. So, the next character E is taken through I. Here, this index is used just for us to display the numbers. So, the W, E, L, C, O, E, M, E is stored in the uh, index value starting from 0 to 6. Here you see the example program to display the string in the reverse order to take the negative index. S1, yes, str1 equal to input entire string. You are getting the value from the user. Then index is taken as minus 1. Here the loop is taken from index that is minus 1 greater than or equal to minus length of str1. Why it is taken as minus? Because you know negative index is taken as minus 1 to the last. Uh, that means the last character has to start with minus 1. Then the number will get incremented. Is it clear? So only we are taking the 
minus number in the program. So in the program, index is minus 1 equal to minus of len of str1 means it will count the total number of characters stored in str1. So the loop is going to happen from minus 1 to the end of the end of the character. That means the total number is 5 means it will go to minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 up to minus 5. The same subscript procedure is used here just for our understanding purpose subscript of index. So first index we'll check which is coming with this plus str1 of index. This plus here is a concordination operator that means uh, adding the left side and the right side are printed together. So first one is minus 1. As we know the last letter E is holding the index value minus 1. So first index is minus 1. So the loop is starting with minus 1. So str of index minus 1 is E. This plus symbol is for concordinating, adding the left side and right side and printing. Again it is minus 1. So it is minus 2. Next index. It is going up to the first letter. Last letter to the first letter in the given string. Is it clear children? As you already learnt, strings in Python are immutable. That means once you define a string, modification or deletion is not allowed. If you want to modify the string, a new string value can be assigned to the existing string variable. I'll explain what is this. That means we cannot directly modify the word given here. For example, if it is welcome, if I want to change the O to A means I cannot do it. If I want to delete M means I cannot do it directly. That is given here. So to overcome this problem, you can define a new string value to the existing string variable. What is that? For example, if string 1 is how are you, print str1. It will print the statement. If it is str1 is how about you, that means they are totally changing the whole statement. Because we cannot change a single letter, it is not allowed. See this example, str1 equal to how are you? We are asking to print str1. So it is printing the statement. If I ask to print str1, That means the index of 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, it's a space, so I'll take 4. So if it is str1, it is giving all the thing. If it is 4, means it takes the single character in the particular index. Is it clear? Now, if I have an idea to change like str1 of 4 equal to any one of a character then it will say error because strings are immutable I cannot modify it okay so they are saying that if I want to change means I have to use this method I have to change completely instead of giving a single statement like str1 of 4 equal to a. This is not possible. So if we change the total statement, 
then if you ask you to print it will change it will show the change in that can you see this but it is not easy to do like this for each thing so there is another solution also first of all the concept what you are learning in this example is a, a string cannot be modified that is the point here usually python does not support any modification in its strings but it provides a function replace to change all occurrence of a particular character in a string they are giving another solution as replace replace means if it is how are you here they are saying str1.replace o to e if it is so here there are two o characters so all the two o characters will be changed to the new character so what the solution they are giving is print replace str1 dot replace for example o character to e now print str1 so in this place it is changed to o is changed to e here also o the letter is changed to e so this is one of the solution how to delete a string similar as modification python will not allow deleting a particular character in a string whereas you can remove entire string variable using del command for example if they are saying means del str1 it will del delete the character we'll check it with the example so if it is del str1 here for first the statement how are you is stored then we are asking to print the whole statement then the only the index value again it is changed to another statement again we are printing here del str1 is given again we are asking to print so the last print will not come because as we are deleting the string able to follow me first str1 how are you then str1 of 4 a then how how are you with the letter a caps so it is also printed after that we are deleting the string when when we ask to print again it is saying that it is not there so we learned how to modify you can use replace how to delete we can delete the whole string not a particular index value so string is a collection of characters character in the sense it can be alpha numeric with symbols also then a string cannot be modified and deleted but we can use replace and del if we require in that situation thank you have a good day